I'm working on the torque tube now. <clears throat> I did not weld the bearing for the torque tube to the rod yet for the uh, flap. I wanted to be able to line all the tube up here. Get this all centered in the holes and then tack that in place so that I knew that all the bearings would line up. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get this centered and then tack this bearing in place. One thing I did do is I pre-drilled it and put a tapered hole on it so that you can grease it. I didn't put a Zerk fitting on it. Um, it's just more work to distort the fitting and you don't really need it. A needle, note, a needle uh, tip on a grease gun will easily put grease in there. It's not a tight clearance bearing. It's going to take grease just fine. So I drilled it and put a chamfer on it. <clears throat> I'll get it all lined up and then I'll tack that and then weld it outside the uh, wing. Alright, so that's tacked now. So I can pull out my shims. Some high nylon ties just to keep it centered. And that looks great. So now I'll pull out the uh, flat support tube here and weld that properly out on the workbench. So that all looks good. I'm putting together the uh, support at the root for the torque tube and also it has a guide for the aileron cable. So the first part is this tube which gets capped. So I'm rolling the caps on the end. So the tubes are made and capped. I still need to tap the ends for a quarter 28, but I'll leave that for later. So the next part of this is there are a couple little side brackets and a tube that goes between them. So I've got one here that I'm going to get ready into here and weld. And I'll weld one side on and then I'll set the three quarter inch gap between it and weld the other side on. And then I'll take some of the... Uh, excess tube off of here just grind it down. I leave it long, it makes it easier to weld. Okay, so I finished the bearing blocks and so I have the tubes done, the bearing blocks they sit over the tube like that and it gets mounted between the rear spar and there's a little uh, 40 thousandths aluminum bracket that goes on the rear spar. So I still have to make that bracket Okay, I fabricated the 40 thousandths angle bracket <clears throat> yeah. and so it'll sit right here and then it'll have this quarter 28 that goes in here 
This one's a little long, but these are not the final bolts. These are just some ones, some grade fives I had laying around. <clears throat> so I'll tighten it up. So now I can get in there and drill and rivet it in place. And then once it's riveted in place, I will take and line up this final bearing here on the flap tube and uh, tack weld it. All right, I prepped this by clamping this in place. I actually had to shorten up a drill bit to be able to fit in here, but it's all gonna work here. And now I'll just drill this and Clico it. I'm going to rivet on the support for the tube that holds the bearing here. Now I've got my top brace in place. I'm going to put the tube in. Now I can bring this bearing over and I'll just slide it right down here and now I'm going to shim it this tube to be in the center of the holes in the ribs and I'll tack weld it in position so that looks really nicely centered in the in the rib so I'm going to tack weld it right there So I welded this bearing for this end for the flap torque tube. And so the only other thing that goes on this support here is the aileron uh, cable runs through here and there's a fairly that goes here. And so I have to make a, a little uh, support here that will support that bushing. Here's the finished uh, root end support. <clears throat> so there's the bearing for the torque tube and this is the guide for the aileron. Uh, cable. So it's the completed flap drive, the torque tube with the lever for inside the uh, fuselage, the root end support along with the fairway guide for the aileron cable. Down this end, both the arms that will attach to the push rod that goes through here to actuate the flap and the wingtip side bearing. <clears throat>